Well, Micah, they've been living in this house as part of an organization that helps people with spinal cord injuries. Now, that nonprofit has spent more than $50,000 fixing up the house and making it handicap accessible. But now they're facing their biggest challenge yet, being forced to move out. Well, I was two weeks away from graduating um, nursing school, and um, I was injured surfing. For the last five years, 33-year-old Nathan Lehman has been confined to this wheelchair. He's been living in this Granada Hills home with seven other quadriplegics, like Juan Elisaurus Jr., the victim of a gunshot wound. But I was either headed to a convalescent home or, or the streets. Until he found the organization Freedom to Live. Instead of living in an institution, these residents live here, where they receive peer guidance, learning how to function as a quadriplegic, a new reality for most. But this life-changing program is about to be turned upside down. My bag learning even unpacked yet. You can go into my room and still see my boxes. It was just uh, served a 60-day notice to move out with really no um, kind of explanation. Sean Welch started the Freedom to Live organization in 2011 to help spinal cord injury victims live independently. Welch is an Ironman triathlete who's become well-known for crawling across the finish line in Kona, Hawaii 20 years ago. At the age of 50, she's returning to Hawaii for her final Ironman race one last time not to win, but to raise awareness for these Freedom to Life recipients. I believe it would be over a million dollars to buy this house. And it's, it's laid out perfectly for our needs. She says the thought of moving all eight residents out in 60 days is shocking, and she doesn't know if it can be done. We can't just go to an apartment complex and rent a, you know, an apartment. We can't just go to a regular house and, and rent a house. We have to have things done to that house first for it to be handicap accessible. On behalf of eight quadriplegics that are, are people who are, that are handicapped in several different many ways, I don't want to see this end. I want somebody to help us out. We need help. Uh, we need somebody to step in and, and, and speak up for us. Now, Sean has started a million-dollar campaign to buy a house so they never have to be worried about being forced out again. We're going to put a link to the information on how you can donate on our website. Now, you can also text the word Kona to 41444, and you'll get more information. And you'll also follow Sean's journey as she competes in this Ironman. Now, I did attempt to get in touch with the owner of the home several times today, but I haven't heard back yet. And tonight, Sean tells me, ideally, in a perfect world, she would be able to buy this house and nobody would have to move out. Back to you.